are here in 7077 in Cambridge, Ohio for a 100 lap dirt track race and taking the Carl's pole position is Ellie Riggs in the 919 for Bjorn Green Racing, Kurt Walker sharing the front row with her, Johnson Clapp racing for David Hetzel now in the 67 and Kevin Monroe in the row number 2, Stanley Parson, Rick Forrest in row number 3 and opening row number 4, Bradley Carlisle in the 8 and Bob Stephens in the 7. Todd Stater, the championship leader in 9th, and Billy Bob Childers closes the top 10. 11th in his debut, I believe, is Don Mayato and Trey Ashby in 12th. 13th, Kelly Splice in 14th, Zach Cott in row number 7. Row number 8 has Kenny Brillen and Jim Kidd in the number 18, Lycoya. Monica Rook in the 22 and Ashley Tucker in row number 9. Row number 10 has Kenny George, the third, second place in the standings, and Anthony Griffith starting in 20th place. Then, like Lighter, 21st, Kiefer Glanville in his debut for MJ Racing in 22nd, Mike Malone and Joshua Pacer, Pacer winner at Albuquerque in row number 12. Taylor Brillen and Riley Durbin in row number 13. And in row 14, Chuck Johnson and Lev Azarov. Azarov is fourth in the championship standings. Billy Ray Smith Thompson and Tristan Kristoff who won at Road America in row 15 and bringing the rear of the field Zach Webster and Maury Holter. Now let's go trackside for the start of the FARC 70-77-100. Leading him down to the green is Ellie Riggs in the 919, Kurt Walker right alongside her and look at Johnson Clapp already giving a bump to Riggs, trying to go for the lead on turn number one, getting to the back straight away, Walker is already dropping to third place, Parsons now fights for third place and there goes Johnson Clapp on the inside of Ellie Riggs to take the first position out. Kurt Walker for second place, Son Ali Riggs, they fight for second and Johnson Clapp already runs away as Bob Stephens gets spun around by Rick Forrest into Dan like Lighter goes around and that's that. This is the first caution of the race, two laps in. Clapp leads him down, Kurt Walker restarts in second place, third place is Ali Riggs but Riggs already makes a move on Walker and as you see Todd Stater already running in fourth place. Don Mayato in his debut, running fifth, goes outside a bit, lose the position to Trey Ashby as Delek Leiter gets into the back of Taylor Brillen, Brillen into the dirt bank, into the wall, and she saves the car, that car could have flipped over, however she goes into no man's land, and the car now all dirtied up, and there goes the field pass, Taylor Brillen, and as Johnson Clapp leads, he scrapes the wall, and that's already a few problems for him. Kelly splicing hard into the wall, into Billy Bob Childers, Mike Malone. And that's a big crash, Joshua Pacer into the 96. Zach God and Anthony Griffith get involved. And that's your second caution of the event. Joshua Pacer gets slapped in the pits and he restarts on the inside. Johnson Clapp makes quick work out of the 88. And now he's gonna hold up the 66 of Todd Stater and the 98 of Kurt Walker, allowing Ellie Riggs to run away with the second position. And Todd Stater would get fed up with the 88 and turns him around. Right in front of the field, Kevin Monroe hits the 88. And Chuck Johnson now already with problems in this race. Uh, once again with problems in the cat car. As, as uh, Johnson Clapp continues to lead. And as you see, Eddie Riggs trying to fight with the lap car. Look at Kurt Walker going on the inside. Don Mayato into the back of the 97. 97 into the 88, right in front of Eddie Riggs. Trey Ashby uses uh, Joshua Pacer for leverage. There's a four wide right there. Kenny charges the third. Todd Stater and others involved. There goes Don Mayato on the inside of Kurt Walker trying to go for the third position. Trying to go for the third position and he makes the move stick. Kenny George now goes for fourth and now will fight with Don Mayado as Kevin Monroe merges back from the pits after hitting the car of Joshua Pacer. As Johnson Clapp continues to open a big, big lead over the rest of the field. And now Kevin Monroe going on the outside, gets a bit of air and is gonna merge back into the inside. As Chuck Johnson gets spun around by the second place, Kenny George. And that's another caution. Rick Forrest and Taylor Brillen get involved. Ellie Riggs, a little piece of that. And that's the third caution of the race. Green flag is in the air for Johnson Clapp. Actually, fourth caution of the race. And green flag for Johnson Clapp. Don Mayato running second. Kenny George running third after getting involved in that crash caused by the lap car of Chuck Johnson. 
And there's a big battle right back. And as you see, Billy Ray Smith Thompson stuck on the outside. Stanley Parsons also stuck on the outside. Gets stuck by Trey Ashby into the left lighter. And he goes around. Kiefer Glanville involved. And Kenny Brillon also involved. Bradley Carlisle also gets a piece of that. Clap leads them down once again as the laps continue to not progress. We're not even 50 laps in. We're not even halfway. We're way behind halfway as we need to get a green flag run soon enough. As there's a four wide once again. Kirk Walker gets put into the wall by Todd Stater and Billy Ray Smith Thompson. And now Billy Bob Childers making a move on the inside. And there goes Todd Stater into no man's land. And he gets a bit of air as well. Trying to save the car, he saves it but loses a ton of positions as Kenny George the third fighting for third place with Rick Forrest. That got right there, another lap car make, that has no business in fighting with the leaders. And there's a four wide, five wide, and Kenny George the third into the wall. Lev as a Robin Billy Bob Childers capitalize. Ali Riggs goes on the inside, then Lack Ladder goes on the inside. Johnson Clapp continues to run away with the lead as the laps start to progress a bit as Zach got left car he's two laps now I believe goes on the inside of Don Mayado who is in second place Mayado is slower than got for some reason but now I think Mayado's picking up on the inside and he is already making the move Billy Bob Childers now running in third place Ali Riggs running fourth place and now then like Leiter I believe he's now in fifth fighting with Kurt Walker and as you see, Tristan Kristoff in the Team Burkhardt, the winner of Road America having, I believe, his second start of the season. He is running pretty well. And as you see, Stanley Parsons, what happened there? Stanley Parsons goes into No Man's Land, hits a bump, gets a lot of air, hits the wall, and no caution. And this is a story about a man named Stanley. And I think this man named Stanley needs new pants. Back into the business end of the field, Johnson Clapp continues to lead and trying to progress a bit on the Tristan Christoph matter. He's running 15th place in a team bird car. Um, yeah, someone in a big team signed that guy right now. Lev Azarov running in fourth place, trailing down Ellie Riggs, Taylor Brillen into the back of her dad's car, Kenny Brillen into the wall, and that's a display of tough love. Uh, I don't think this is Father's Day, Taylor. I think that was months ago. She tags the number 20, the 20 goes flipping, and then Riley Durbin gets collateral damage and is done for the day after hitting the 20, and Tristan Kristoff hits Kenny Brillen for good measure. Green flags in the air for Johnson Clapp. Zach got also a lap car, now tries to fight with Johnson Clapp, puts it on the inside, and, and don't, don't, don't. Sends Johnson Clapp into the outside, almost into no man's land. And there goes Rick Forrest on the inside. I believe he's also a lap car, but I'm not completely sure this race has been a big mess. And no, he is not, but he's trying to recover his lap as Ellie Riggs on the inside for the lead. Goes on the inside of Clapp in turn number four, using the 60 as a pick. And now Rick Forrest back on the lead lap. Ellie Riggs is your new leader as Dan Lacklider gets hit by Anthony Griff, by Bob Steffens into the wall around. He goes in front of Trey Ashby and Monica Rook gets a piece of that. Ellie Riggs leads them down to the green. Johnson Clapp trying to trail her down. However, the left cars are being a big mess. There's a four wide between the second place and the lead. And the lap cars. Chuck Johnson rubs it in into Johnson Clap. Kevin Monroe right ahead. Ashley Tucker with problems once again. The MJ cars having a bit of problems right now. Ashley Tucker being the victim of such ailments as Ellie Riggs starts to open the gap. Johnson Clap goes around the lap cars and starts to try to get a bit of a gap. Try to close the gap. But Zach God already tries to end his life right there on the spot. Uh, Todd Stater capitalizes, takes the second position. Now he's gonna start to trail down Ellie Riggs as Billy Ray Smith Thompson gets into the back of Todd Stater. Now Lev Azarov making a three, uh, move for a second place, for third place now as Billy Ray Smith Thompson takes second. And he hits the wall and goes around for good measure. Gets hit by Lev Azarov. Jim Kidd and Kevin Monroe get involved. <coughs> And that's a good play of ability by Billy Ray Smith Thompson, couldn't adapt to dirt in time.
and he spins himself around from second place. Ellie Riggs continues to lead, Johnson Clapp now capitalizes and takes the second position, Lev Azarov now running in third, and, uh, and Ashley Tucker gets tagged by Trey Ashby into Joshua Pacer for leverage, apparently Joshua Pacer has been the leverage for everyone in this race, Trey Ashby has used Joshua Pacer for leverage before. As Chuck Joseph gets a bit into the back of Ashley Tucker, she gets a bit loose. And now Zach go and now Ellie Riggs into the dirt bag, saves the car. And there goes Johnson Clapp trying to make a three wide with the lap car of Zach got. And Johnson Clapp will reclaim the lead once again. And Ellie Riggs will have to settle for second as Zach Gott's trying to eliminate her, gets into the back of the 919. And now Rick Forrest tags the 88 of Joshua Pacer. Pacer into the front of the field. Todd Stater into the wall. And Pacer goes flipping. And the day for the Albuquerque winner is over. Johnson Clapp leads the field once again. Zach got trailing him down. And now Ellie Riggs trying to make the move. And now you see a big battle between the lapped cars. And Clapp must be loving it because he's just running away. Then like Lighter trying to make some progress. And he now takes the second position from Riggs. Riggs trying to trail him down. And now I believe that's Chuck Johnson. Another lap car. Riggs into the wall. And that must not be good for her. That's like the third time she hits the wall. And there's a big contact there. Jim Kidd, Lev Azarov and Ellie Riggs getting together in a four wide with Zach Gott. And they once again rub it in together. And look at Todd Stater and Kurt Walker looking to capitalize. Look at Todd Stater on the inside making the move. Lev Azarov takes, takes fourth as Anthony Griffith as Bob Stephens. I'm confusing those two. I don't know why. Take second place the number seven. I'm going to have to call him the number seven now because I don't know who's driving it for some reason. And 67 of Johnson Clapp opens the gap even more as you see the car right behind him is, a la is the lap car of Trey Ashby. Then like Lighter now runs in second place with a big difference over the third place car that I believe is Kenny George III. As you see everybody fighting for the fourth position. Look at Ellie Riggs coming down with a bit of advantage and now Kenny George into the wall contact but they keep it safe Ali Riggs takes third place fourth place now will be Todd Stater and Lev Azarov Bob Stephens and Kenny George will fight for fifth and as you see Tristan Kristoff still running inside of the top 20 well inside of the top 20 and as you see Johnson Clapp opens a big gap over second place right there, then like Lighter passing right down the camera, Ellie Riggs four, third, Kenny George fourth, fifth, battle for fifth is between Todd Stater and Lev Azarov. And as you see the whole field, it's a big difference between the leaders and the rest of the field. Kirk Walker has been having a good race so far. Remember in 2013 that he made an idiot of himself and got suspended? Thank God that is not happening this year. He's running a bit too hard on the outside. Hits the wall. Oh my God. And I just jinxed that. Um, that is the famed commentator's jinx. And now we're going to have a restart with only three laps to go. Johnson Clapp leading the field to the green. Only three laps remain here at Cambridge. And Clapp has a big difference. Three lap cars to then like Lighter and Ellie Riggs already looking to make a move for second place. Back straight away. And Johnson Clapp has opened a big, big gap. He is just having to bring the car home as on the inside. Ellie Riggs making a move for second, trying to lap all the lap cars. Oh, there's contact! There's contact and there's caution. Bradley Carlisle went to the back of Stanley Parsons into Ellie Riggs. Riggs around, then Lack Lighter around. And put out on the net bank and that lap lighter is flipping! And that contact was caused by the lap cars. And I think the lap cars just ruined the race. As Joseph Lapp takes the white and yellow flags, he is the winner. And as you see in the slow motion camera, Bradley Carlisle, who is a lap car, gets into the back of another lap car who had no business to do that on Stanley Parsons. Parsons tries to save it, but gets into then Lack Lighter. Lack Lighter still gets on the back of Carlisle. Ellie Riggs goes up the dirt banking. Lack Lighter goes up the dirt banking, hits the 919, and goes up into the air and down into the ground. And Jim Kidd ends up hitting the 919 a bit. 
and this effectively will end the race under caution Johnson Clapp has won this race On a race that can only be described as a true crash fest, Johnson Clapp survived and avoided the biggest amount of crashes he could avoid to take the win in the 115 points. Lev Azarov takes third after Ellie Riggs and Dan Lackleiter had been wrecked from second and third. Bob Stephens takes the third position, Todd Stater takes fourth, Kenny George the third, fifth, Billy Ray Smith Thompson sixth, Billy Bob Childers seventh, Jim Kidd eighth. Kiefer Glanville in his debut for MNJ Racing 9th place, respectable result, Monica Rook a good finish in 10th place, Ellie Riggs 11th, Bradley Carlisle 12th, Tristan Kristoff 13th place and the team Burkar, the winner of Road America shows that even the worst of machines can beat the best of drivers as he finishes just ahead of Kevin Monroe. Then like Leiter has to settle for 15th after getting wrecked and Zach Gott in 16th place. Chuck Johnson 17th, Trey Ashby 18th, Rick Forrest and Stanley Parsons close the top 20. The championship standings now see Todd Stater still leading, Kenny George III still second, trading him by 28 points. All the drivers who you see the points in yellow are the drivers qualified for the Farkoff. We have Todd Stater, Kenny George and Mark Thompson in this page qualified by wins. As Stater has one win, George has one win, and Mark Thompson has two wins. The other people qualified by wins are outside of the top 30, so you can have an idea. As I believe Richard Scott is in the cutoff area. If he does not start Salem next week, he is out. As uh, Richard Scott is 40th place with one win. Uh, the next race could already take him off the far cough. Mariano Zavala 37th with one win, Joshua Pacer 36th with one win, Leslie Riggs and Johnson Clapp 33rd and 30th with their wins. Then you have Billy Ray Smith Thompson, Lev Azarov, Bob Stephens, Bradley Carlisle, Kevin Monroe, Dan Lackleiter, Stanley Parsons all in by points. If any of the drivers between 3rd and 9th takes a win, Monica Rook will qualify to the Farkoff by points. The next race in the Fark season will be the second to last race before the start of the Fark off at Salem, Indiana. I will see you next time.